Well, hello there. Welcome to what does a bodybuilder get in his slash her food shop. Um, I thought I'd basically run through um, a few bits in terms of like protein sources. If you are stuck with ideas on how to get your protein or how to hit your carbohydrate goal or even how to hit your fat goal or your monster goal, then obviously we can go through it. Now, I will caveat this and start by saying um, I was meant to do this on Sunday, however, I got tied up. So, um, some of these will be like, I have this, but I've eaten it. Um, so, yeah, I apologise, but we'll get into it nevertheless. And we'll start with the most important one, which is probably going to be fats. Um, because everyone starts with protein and I just thought I'll start with fats. So, on we go. Now, this is the one that I, I personally struggle with the most and I do see clients actually struggle with this as well it's either between fats or or protein no one really struggles with carbohydrates it's just a very easy thing to hit but definitely fats and protein so we're going to go through my fat choices so we do have um almond butter now I will start by all state um it's a little bit expensive however if I have something like peanut butter, I tend to get very bored of it very quickly. This one, especially if you get it in like a maple flavor, because you can get different ones of this brand, um, it tastes fucking good. It's the only one that I haven't got bored of, um, so that's definitely a staple. I do have it on things like bagels, which is the carb element. I've already gone into it, I'm sincerely sorry, but I do have stuff like this on, on bagels and also like on my cereal as well. It's just an easy way to get in fats. So. Also, if I want a savoury option in terms of my fat choices for the day, I do go with something like olives. Um, you'll notice from like my fat choices that they're very quote-unquote clean styles of fats. They're not necessarily things like cheese and they're not necessarily... I do have cheese sometimes, but not all the time. Um, but they're not really anything like that. So I also use um, oil to cook my meal. So that's also a fat, um, a fat source. But apart from that, I do like to keep my fats fairly, fairly decent. I also have cashews as well. Um, so I either have olives or cashews with my, my meals in terms of the savory styles, styles of fats. And then also I do have, of course, the bodybuilders, 85% um, dark chocolate. Now, I have formally tried um, the 100% dark chocolate, but I just... In terms of like health, it's probably a very, very, it's very good for you, but fuck me, does it taste like ass? Anyway, let's go into the carbohydrate element of the food shop that I did three days ago. Anyway, so here is number one, a staple, uh, which is gonna be cereal. Most people will ask, or some people, especially if you're not in the bodybuilding circle, is why do bodybuilders have cereal? Quite simply, it's just very easy to eat. Um, it's very easy to digest as well, especially post-workout when you want some high, fast acting carbohydrates to replenish glycogen, cereal. Um, I fluctuate between this and also Cocoa Pops. The reason why I'm not showing you Cocoa Pops is because I'll be to the box in two days. Um, I have also go with pasta. This is the first thing to come out and in in a massing phase. In a massing phase, out in a cutting phase. This just gets chucked out uh, when I'm in a mini cut or I'm in prep. It's just too calorific. Um, so, but it's good in a massing phase, right? So if you're struggling with ideas in terms of like, how can I get my, my carbs up um, and also like it digests well, Pasta's pretty good. Um, you can have stuff like spag bowl, like kind of a, like tomato based um, product with also like lean mints. It's just, it's fucking easy. Um, if I can cook it, you can most certainly cook it. Also staple bodybuilder rice. Why do, why do bodybuilders have rice? Very easy to digest. Um, so yeah, I'm, all, I'm, I'm having shamefully about 200 grams of, uh, of rice per serving at the minute. So. And that's for three mils, so uh, it's a little bit tough. Uh, we also have <laughs> bagels, which I actually bought yesterday. Um, bagels is just very easy to digest, digest as well. We also have squares bars. I tend to have things like bagels and squares with like my cereal or with like my my kind of uh, chicken rice meal, basically. 
just as like an add-on. I don't necessarily have like a protein shake with this anymore. I tend to have it as like an ancillary like snack alongside just so I can bump up my, my calories. And I do have something like this into workout. Now, um, this is from Audi. Uh, this is like a Lucasade kind of thing, or if you're in America, like Gatorade, Powerade, something like that, right? Now, the reason why I have this at the minute is because four of these are one pound 29. Uh, which is pretty fucking cheap. Now, um, if you have something like a dextrose powder, which arguably is the same thing as this, um, uh, is a little bit more expensive. So a very cheap way of doing it, and one way that I tell my clients, or like if my clients are on a budget, I just get them to run this. I'm, I'm running this at the minute, and I'm, it's, it's, it's perfect, right? Um, obviously, if you go for something like Lucasaid, you're probably paying through the nose for it. But if you go for like a cheapy brand alternative, it's just literally straight up glucose. That's what it is. It's literally glucose uh, syrup, which you're having in a dextrose powder, which you're probably paying like 30 to 40 quid for a dextrose powder when you can pay this for four servings, pound thirty something, right? Um, so that's the reason why this is in at the minute. So I just have this, po uh, sorry, into workout, just as my like... Um, into workout drink, also stays cold, whatever. I don't know why I'm promoting that. Anyway, uh, we'll go through some um, protein choices. So I'm fluctuating between um, the heck style of chicken burgers at the minute, which are fucking incredible. Two of them for like 50 grams of protein or um, the heck style, like chipolata style things. Um, sausages, that's the word. Um, so yeah, they're basically very high in protein. Per serving, we're looking at 10, oh wait, per chipolata is five grams of protein and there's 10, um, so 47 grams of protein for the whole pack. Um, I tend to have a whole pack, but I dissect it into two meals. Uh, then I have a protein shake alongside it, uh, just to increase my protein. Um, we have gone a little bit bougie because why not? Um, I have gone for tuna steak this off season, just from the simple standpoint of I fucking love tuna steak. Um, and yeah, it's just one thing that I, when I see it in the shops, I just automatically go and grab because it's just, it's just fucking incredible. Um, these are 200 grams of tuna steak, um, and they're about 50 grams of protein. So if you're struggling with protein, um, and budget is no issue, I think these are like three quid to be honest. So it's not actually that bad, but yeah, tuna steak, incredible sources of protein as well. Um, very low in fats, like you're talking per... Per one, it's 0.5 grams of of, uh, of carbohydrate. Uh, sorry, of fats, zero grams of carbs, straight up protein. Um, very cool in prep. I did have some of these in, in prep, but uh, I didn't maintain it just because I just got a bit bored. Um, but they're now in the uh, in the off season. Also says wild caught, wild caught tuna. So I'm just imagining someone with a spear. Anyway, obviously staple bodybuilder chicken. Very easy. The reason why most people have chicken in, in, their, in their food shop or in their meals. It's just quite simple. It's just, it's just fucking easy. Um, just obviously make sure you cook it. Do you know the amount of clients that I have and come back to me who, are, who have chicken and then undercook it? <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually pretty remarkable. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you cook it uh, properly. Also, I have lean mints. 5% lean mints, which I've eaten. So pretend you saw that. I'll put it down. Uh, and then also protein. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of Perform Way. I think their, their, their flavouring panel is highly overrated. I don't think it's very good at all. I think it's very powdery. I think when you switch to something a little bit nicer, I think that most people say that Perform is crap. But I think what's happening is, is people are going from my protein or something like that, or bulk powders to Perform and think Perform is amazing. I would try something else before you say this is amazing. However, I've tried multiple flavors of Perform Way, and the only one that I've thought is okay is the caramel biscuit. Um, does it taste like Biscoff? No, it does not. Um, but it, it tastes good. If you just drink it and like just don't think it's gonna taste like something, um, that's pretty good. Also, fun fact, we are working with Elite Subs at the minute, so if you want money off Supplementes, they have a whole host of, of different products. So if you want money off, rain a 10 at the discount code. Um, I don't get anything, but you get money off. Cool. Um, and then I thought I'd just basically show you this because technically this is actually protein because it's aminos, but 
um, like per 100 milliliters, which I don't know who's gonna have 100 milliliters. There's actually 10 grams of protein in this. Um, but I season pretty much all my meals or the sauce that I'm having is basically this. Um, I fucking love it. I, yeah, it's just incredible. So that's basically what I use to season most of my meals, not my cereal, but mainly my, my, my chicken and rice meals. They're basically covered in this. So that's pretty much the, the bodybuilders food chop that um, I did like three days ago and eaten half of it. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Hope you enjoyed the start of this vlog. Um, I'm planning to do another full day of eating very soon because that actually had some pretty decent reaction even though I didn't train. Uh, normally rest day, uh, rest day Q and A's, rest day full day of eating don't go very well, but that, that did. Anyway, that was one take by the way. See you later.